Be live from Lake Bradley Zone Television Studio. With anchors, Kurt Van Zow and Gary Stevens. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Lake Bradley. Welcome back. We hope your weekend was exciting and that you are ready for Monday. Today on the show, we have a package for you from last Thursday's club night, along with our first student of the week, presented by Mrs. Coda. That sounds like a plan. But the first <laughs> item in our playbook is your announcement. <laughs> Sorry. Important parking announcements. There are still eight seniors who have won the lottery and still have not picked up and paid for their parking passes. If you have won the lottery, if you think you have won the lottery, see Mrs. Carpenter. If you do not take care of this by Friday, August 24th, you will forfeit your parking space. And there will be a key club meeting today in, in the community room at 2.30. Florida State University will be accepting applications for their early admissions on Friday at 1.30. They will notify students of their acceptance on Thursday, August 28th. Students should pick up applications in Building 1, 7, and 8. Students should sign up for passes to see FSU in Building 7 and 8. Students should remember that two essays are required for FSU, University of Florida, and UCF. Students must have a transcript, which they may obtain with a 48-hour notice. The application must be completed by the end of the school day on Wednesday, August 22nd, and be submitted to the college counselor. Get your application and begin early. Freshman class petitions to run for office are available in the Building 6 office. Pick them up now and make sure you have them turned in by Wednesday at 2.30. And the senior class is sponsoring Singled Out Wednesday night at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Pre-sale tickets to watch the show are only $3. To participate in the show, the cost is $5. On the night of the show, the tickets to watch are $4 and $5 to participate. The theater department's first meeting is today after school in the drama room. Also, yearbooks will be on sale at open house the night of August 30th for $45. They will also be sold August 31st for $45. After this date, they can be purchased at lunch only for $50 the week of September 4th through the 7th. Yearbook pictures will be taken August 30th for any underclassmen who have not had their picture taken yet. And student government will meet today after... Student government will meet Wednesday after school in the community room to continue discussions on homecoming festivities. The yearbook staff is looking for photographs and a short description of any summer trips, clubs, sports, or any unusual job you might have participated in during the summer. If you turn in photos, be sure to include your name, the name of other people in the picture, your grade, and location of the photo. There will be a box in the yearbook room, 8224, for anything you would like to submit. Any pictures you turn in will be appreciated and returned to you if requested. And on this day in history, in 1965, the Rolling Stones released Satisfaction. It was their first number one hit in the U.S. And that will conclude the announcement portion for Monday, August 20th, 2001. Well, club night was last Thursday in the community room. About 20 organizations had tables set up for interested students. Mr. Tombro says about 400 to 500 students came through, making it extremely crowded. Despite the crunch, TV2 got the story for you. The producer was Brittany Niehart, Mark Franks handled camera, Eli Newman edited the piece, and your reporter is Mike Nelson. Let's roll the tape. Thursday, August 16th, students gathered here in the community room for club night. Students were able to pick up information on the various clubs at Lake Grand Lake from 7 to 9 p.m. What kind of information? I'm Michael Nelson, and let's take a look. <laughs> I'm representing awesome. the sophomore class government, sir. I'm here to show the students here at Lake Bradley High School that sophomore class government is fun and exhilarating for the whole family. We can join, we can do community service and raise funds for our prom. 
Today at the Drama Club, we're giving out a lot of information about our meetings, so all the benefits you get about auditioning for shows, and all the cool things you get to do in drama. What do you think tonight does for the crew? Oh, well, it's great. Hey, more and more each year. We get more freshmen to come out for the sport. It's great for every club out here. It's great that clubs are recognized, and it's just great for people to come out and see what the clubs are really about. What kind of information are you giving out tonight? We're talking about uh, when we meet and what kinds of things we do and who the officers are and basically just what we're about. As we see club night closing up behind me, we know that it was quite successful. Students got all their information on the unique clubs here at Brantley and these clubs got new people to fuel their ever-growing ranks. I'm Michael Nelson and now back to the studio. Club night proved successful, but if you couldn't be there, listen for announcements about meetings right here on the morning show. And show up. I'll, I'm pretty sure you're going to be welcome. And thanks to TV2 for that story. And a special thanks to Kara Jacobs for overseeing the edit. Speaking of recognitions, Mrs. Cotto is here to prevent, present Building 5 Student of the Week. Mrs. Cotto? Good morning, Lake Brantley High School. I am here today with Chelsea Davis. Chelsea Davis is an incoming freshman at Lake Brantley High School, just returned from Indianapolis, Indiana, where she competed in the Junior Olympics National Diving Championships. Chelsea won the gold medal on platform with a 43-point lead over second-place winner, scoring 334 points. Chelsea also won the gold medal on a one-meter and was the high-point winner on both events. Chelsea placed third on third meter and scored a total of 58 points for Team Orlando, helping them win the national team competition. Chelsea was also the, uh, participated in the 2000 Camel Canadian Cup Champion 2000 National Platform Championship. And she will die for Lake Brantley High School team this fall. So, congratulations, Chelsea, for being Building 5 Student of the Week. And we will give Chelsea um, some certificates for Burger King and also for bowling. Thank you. Thanks, Mrs. Cotto, and congratulations, Chelsea Davis. Now, if you pay attention to this next segment of the show, you can definitely improve your chances of becoming Student of the Week. So here's Stacy with your tip of the day. <laughs> Education means developing the mind, not stuffing the memory. Memorization is not the key way to get through school. The process of learning is the key to actually gain knowledge. I'm Stacy, and that was your tip of the day. Thank you, Stacy. Well, that rounds off today's show. Tomorrow we'll have your first senior moment. Lots of important information, seniors. Listen up. And we also have Mr. Icardi with Building 1, 2, and 3, Student of the Week. But until then... Have, Have a, a great, great day, Lake Brantley.